In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the basic formulas and functions of Microsoft Excel because it's a, one of the most important features of Excel and it will really make your life easier if you're ever working with data. So I kind of taught myself and I would just like to, tell, um, to teach some other people because I know that sometimes it can be a little tricky and um, the rewards of it are great. So here we go. So what I've done it's because I am a car enthusiast. I want to know if my car right here um, can outrun these two cars. And the way you would want to do that mathematically, um, it's not necessarily a science, but mathematically, you'd want to take the weight and the horsepower because more horsepower um, equals more horsepower, less weight means you're going to go faster. So I want to be able to figure that out. And I'm going to use Excel to help me. So let's start here um, I want to know what this weight is in tons so I am going to put an equal sign there click this and we all know that um, one ton is 2,000 well you should know that it's 2,000 pounds I'm gonna enlighten you right now so divided by 2,000 you just kind of plug it in just like that and hit enter so that's 1.4 tons and to bring that down, you take this little square, hold it, and drag it. And there we go. So now I know the weight in tons of these two as well. And I did not need to plug in the formula because as you see, it brought C3, which is here. And in this one, C4, which is here. So it adjusts itself as you bring it down. Now to determine whether my car is faster, I will do this. We know the horsepower. So I'm going to hit another equal sign. Go over here. And I'm going to do another division application to weight in tons. And that's 94. La, 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 la. So there is the answers. And as you can see, the higher number is the better number. And well, I'm on the bottom. But that's not really an issue because I hope I don't mess with them. So that's a pretty dirty number, so let's just fix that. Uh, highlight them all. You can go to Format Cells, Number. And I only want this to two decimal place, places. Maybe you only want it to one, two, let's go one. Voila. A little bit simpler. You can do that the same thing over there. Now to do this more, you could type in more data here bring it all the way down, and so on. So addition, they're kind of similar to that. Um, the equal sign is always the way to do it. And then plus, and hold on. Eh, we'll just do another plus for now. Plus, all right, I don't want to add up those next two numbers. I want to add 27. Plug 27 in. For this, this is for no reason, by the way. This is just an example. Don't be confused. And there we have it. And I could continue that down like that. But it's just 27 because this is all zeros. And I've still added 27, which is shown up here. This is a good way to edit it, too. Um, you just go up into this bar. Say I want it to be 26 now. Hello? 26. Yes, there we go. I can drag that all the way back up, fix it. So, now we'll get into the more advanced stuff. I want to know the total horsepower of all this. So, an easy way to do it is with the equal sign, go up to FX, with it, which means function, to sum. Because in elementary school, we learned that sum meant adding up numbers. Hit that and ignore this. This is what I like to do. Click the one that you're going to be going on and drag it down um, to include all the numbers that you want to add up. Hit enter and there you go. That's the total. And we can drag that across all the way. To find the average, pretty similar, equals and there's average. If it's not here, then you just type it in there and it'll pop up. 
I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure you don't include the total because that would be incorrect. And that is the average. Drag it over. And there we have it, the average. And again, I want to clean up this number a little bit. So, it's to one decimal place. And I'll make that the case for all of them. Makes it nice and simple. It's a great way to do this. If you have a ton of data, it's even more helpful. Now, for if formulas, this is um, much more advanced, but it's just as helpful. So this is a spreadsheet that I created uh, for my own uh, my own use to check to make sure that my company wasn't screwing me over with my check. So what I decided to do was plug in all the data that they gave me that was important on the check and use an if formula to determine whether everything was accurate. Of course, it is important that you plug in the data correctly because if you don't, then you might get a false negative, and that would be annoying. Along with this, I created my totals. So this is my total net pay that I've plugged in so far, my total gross pay, the total tax deductions, and my total hours. And I've done this, so it's a sum of all the, in the data that I input here. So if I add five, you'll see my hours go up there. Six. Oh, no, that's not included. Gross, 12. Add it up. And you also may have noticed that this changed. That's what I was mentioning earlier, the if formulas. To make an if formula, I'm going to get rid of this so I can just show you how I did it. This is the gross status, so I want to determine whether they, on my check, added up my gross correctly. So equal sign function if the logical test so I want to know hours times pay would equal my gross and equals this is a full formula here should equal gross so that's true value if true good because I'm happy value if false exclamation mark because I'm in a panic and it's good. And if I plugged it in wrong, or they messed it up on my salary, three. Ooh, I like that. But it's not um, it's not registering. That's not good. So I'll go back to two point seven five, and it's back to good. I did the same thing here, except I used the gross pay minus the two point three three to get the net and. Well, actually, you can see it right here. D3 minus E3, which is here, equals F3. And it is accurate. 2.32, one cent difference. It's going to be incorrect. All right. To do this, I use the sum formula. And to continue this, all I did was drag the good down. All the way down to the bottom of my chart. So now that every single one I plug in, We'll register if it's correct. Gross pay, two, this should be three. Now it's good. If it's two, all right. You sort of get the idea. So that's those are the basic formulas um, that you can use, the ones that I've found the most helpful. I would definitely try it. Um, just try it out. Uh, if you're a data type person and you like doing this type of stuff on the computer, then it's actually kind of fun. I enjoy doing it. You plug in all the different things, and then you get an output. It's kind of a mathematical thing. If you don't like it, then whatever. Um, but if you ever have some some assignment that you have to do at school, that's it's like this. I, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, I can answer them in the comments section below. And if necessary, I'll do another video. So thanks for watching.